The Hudson River area is a great spot to do any kind of environmental research because we've got all the resources we need right here. We have a river lab in the Cornell Boathouse that has a flow through system that we can get raw Hudson water to flow in and out of so we can test that in our experiments. We're working on a crayfish study down in the river lab and it's testing the presence of pharmaceuticals in the Hudson River and their potential bioaccumulation within our aquatic systems. We're learning that these pharmaceuticals in the Hudson River have a potential to bioaccumulate within our systems and that raises concern for what we're eating and drinking. So I'm also working on an eel population study and that's associated with the Hudson River Foundation and the DEC and we're basically testing to see how culverts, these pipe dams, affect local eel populations upstream and downstream of the culverts. We're, we're partnering with these guys to do culvert assessments for the passability of the culvert at the same time that they're actually seeing what's up below it and what's above it. The hypothesis of the eel study is that upstream of these culverts, the eel populations are going to be a whole order of magnitude less than downstream. So in other words, these culverts are going to be extremely detrimental to the eels and they, they can't travel up. So this project has a good management tie-in and that if we can prove that these perched culverts are too detrimental to the eel populations, it's going to help in the prioritization of the culvert replacement. So I picked Marist College for science because I'm used to kind of a larger classroom. I went to a really large high school, but Marist, it was it was a good transition because you get a lot more individual attention here from, from professors. You can go, you can talk to your professors, you know each one on a first name basis, and you know, it's, it opens up a lot of opportunities to do research. If you want to do a project, you just go and ask your professor, that's what I did. What got me into science personally, probably Bill Nye, the science guy, that and Environmental science specifically, I, I grew up around a really environmentally conscious family. My oma and opa, my grandma and grandpa were farmers in Germany and everything was organic then, so that's how, how I was raised. And you know, tying the two together, Bill Nye and then my background, led me to environmental science. So my long-term goal is after graduate school, after achieving a PhD, is to work for a company that can help with sustainability to do research and to really help with any kind of environmental contaminants in our ecosystems. The Hudson Valley is just an excellent area to study environmental science. The location, it's, it's a perfect spot. I mean, Hudson River, you can't really beat it, especially with environmental science. And the view, that's not too bad either.